and we're beginning to see it now. The, the world's global economy is, is having a lot of ripples, a lot of effects, a lot of changes. Um, here in the United States, we will be the first, as usual, to experience a lot of that stuff. Okay, but you're gonna, ha you're gonna be the leaders. You're gonna be the ones that are gonna stand there in your communities and say, look, this is what's been going on, this is what it is, and this is what we have to do. It's no accident that you are who you are. Okay, we've all volunteered for this. And my suggestion is the next time they ask us to do this, we really read the fine print on those contracts. Okay, because I don't remember being this hard. I, 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 I vaguely remember something about a walk in the park and, <laughs> okay. Um, we have just a few more minutes and uh, I was wondering if anybody had any questions. Okay. If you could speak to um, death, both for us and death for the Andromedans, and where and how that ties together, perhaps. Death. In, the ter de in the terms of the soul, I mean, we're, we're, we, we, the information that's presented here, yet we go home and we have our families and hospice and people dying, and how that ties in with the process that we're going through. I mean, you spoke of lifetimes, you spoke of reincarnation. You right. That's a great question. My understanding is that in the Andromedan culture, they have reincarnation as well. But in their culture, uh, when a soul crosses over, it has full memory of who it is when it comes back into the physical. Again, it's that law of consistency. We don't have that. And again, I, I believe that's that fine print on the contract. Um, reincarnation is still a fact here as well. Okay, we do have reincarnation. Where the soul goes after there's death, I don't have that answer. I don't have that answer. I've just got a quick joke. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. There you are. Yeah, it's just a quick joke. Two Andromedans. Once again, if we can stand up when we ask the question. Yes, aloha, Alex. Um, I watched your show on, uh, on, the, on Google, uh, UFO Hypothesis, and you talk a lot about your contacts with the Andromedans. Um, have you been having contacts within the last couple of years or anything that's been more um, recent in nature and any messages through that? Um. For five years, I pushed them away. And the reason I did, it just got too hard. It got too hard to walk the two worlds. So I pushed them away, and I had a lot of work to do. Um, recently, though, uh, the contacts have resumed. And uh, much of it has been on a, uh, of a personal relationship. Um, the message has been more or less personal relationship, just getting to know each other once again um, after a very long time of not talking to each other. I actually got pretty pissed off with them, if you really want to know the truth. I got mad about some things that happened in my life, and I felt that they should have told me. So there you have it. Um, thank you, Alex, for everything. Aloha. You're welcome. Yes, ma'am. Okay, regarding the financial structures of our planet and the difference between their not needing currency, do they foresee a transition for us into that? Uh, is that any part of our, the 2012 transition? What, what virtually all the other cultures do, that's a great question, what virtually all the other cultures do is that they have a very small government and basically everything's managed by the people. Everything is provided, education, housing, Everything that you would need to live is there. In turn for that, 
you participate in doing uh, several years of learning how to grow food, horticulture, of managing livestock, dealing with nature, um, uh, building machinery, building uh, spacecraft, uh, learning uh, astronomy, planetary astronomy. Um, you would participate in all of those fields and as you're participating and you're not only getting an education but you're also contributing, all of your needs are met. Everything is, is there and, and each generation contributes and it just, it just works out perfectly. It's almost like a utopian society. Nobody has to pay for anything. It just, just doesn't happen. Hi there. I'm right at the back. back <laughs> oh. Hi. Um, I have a question for you. Um, I too have been in contact with uh, Andromedans. And uh, they've talked to me a bit about their society. And I was interesting, uh, interested to, to know if they told you uh, when it comes to uh, constructing things, have they explained to you uh, how far they go with manual construction or whether they use uh, thought manifestation, whether they combine energy with matter to construct uh, places, buildings, and things like that? Uh, actually, both. They also use holographic technology. Yeah, I thought perhaps that might be the truth. Because I, I, somehow, when I've been talking to them, I couldn't envisage them getting greasy, you know, making uh, wheel bearings and things like that. So um, I was wondering what they'd said to you um, about uh, whether they get together as a group and maybe manifest a park or a garden or, or homes and things. Uh, my understanding is, is that the park areas, all of that is created using holographic technology. Um, if, you're, if you're in this in this craft and you move into one of these park areas, you literally have no idea you're in a spaceship. Mm -hmm. And you would never know you were in a spaceship. Yeah. I mean, they could create a Hawaii in the middle of these motherships. Mm -hmm. And you would think you were in Hawaii. You would not know unless you consciously were aware that you had walked into the ship walked upstairs, took in elevators, uh, what they call elevators, what we would call elevators, to different levels, and then walked out into the park area in the spaceship as you're traveling through space. It is the most phenomenal thing mm -hmm. I could possibly, uh, that you could possibly experience. Yeah. It's awe-inspiring. Yeah. You know, it, it's just... <laughs> And they're using their thoughts to bring that matter together as, as, and so it becomes solid in front of yes. you like a flower. Yes, yes thank you. I... Yes, they magnetize thought. They magnetize space with their thought. There's a lot we didn't cover and I'm out of practice. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.